So I've created an, an approval workflow within my training docs library, and I can see it right here. Training doc approval, great. Now let's take a look at running this workflow. We're gonna first take a look at the option of an automatic trigger. You might recall when I created the workflow, there were options about when the workflow should start. And I selected two. First, the default, it can be manually triggered or started. And I also checked the option for an automatic. It'll start when a new document is created. So let's try that one first. So I'm gonna go back into my training docs. This is my library where I just created the workflow and I'm gonna add a new document here. So I'm gonna create one. So I'm gonna go up to new and I'm gonna create a new Excel document just for fun. It's right there, I love Excel. This opens up in my environment to the Excel online web app and I'm, I'm not gonna do anything big. I'm just gonna say, hello world. There we go, hit my enter key and I'll make sure I rename it up here at the top We'll just call this uh, Hello Doc. All right, we'll give it a moment there and make sure it does its thing with saving. Now, I've now created a new document. This is through the Excel online web app, or it doesn't really matter. You can upload a document in here. It could be whatever you like, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDFs, images, whatever. Now, I'll go back to my library. So I'm just gonna click on the link up there at the top. All right. So there's my hello doc that I just created a few seconds ago by myself and I got a new column in here, the training doc approval. Now I do wanna point out that sometimes I don't get that column right away. So I gotta make sure that I refresh my screen. I also wanna point out that sometimes even after I refresh the screen, I still don't get that column. The reason that happens is I may have forgot when I set up the workflow to turn on the option to automatically trigger the workflow when a new item is created. So you can see here that my workflow is currently in progress. Let's take a look at my email. So I'm gonna hop up to my email application here. We'll open that up into a new tab so we can take a look at it. Get Outlook started here. All right, now I wanna remind you that I'm all by myself here. So I'm the creator of the workflow and I'm the one that was assigned the task. So I actually got two emails. I got one for the approval started on HelloDoc. Hey, the approval has started for HelloDoc. It's got a nice little link there for me. There's a participant, it's myself. Now there's no due date, lucky me, uh, and so on. Now the other email that I got here is a task. Please approve the book. Hey, task assigned to Kyle Pugh, due date none. I could just sit on it, right? Uh, and I can start the process. And it's giving me kind of step-by-step. I can do number one, open up the document to review it, and then I can perform the specific tasks, if any, that were included inside the task itself. Now, if I, if I wanna open up the task, I can do this one of a couple of different ways. Uh, I'm inside of the online version of Outlook, but if you've got the desktop version of Outlook, there'll actually be a link in the email at the top of the email to open the task. That's great, it's up there at part of the ribbon. Uh, I don't have that here because I'm inside of the uh, online, the the, uh, the Outlook web access application. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Outlook and I'll find that new column for my workflow. And you can see that's giving me the current status that it's in progress. I'll give that a click. This is gonna open up the details of the workflow and it shows me the history and all the information about the workflow. And if you've got Visio installed, you even get a nice little flow chart diagramming each person that's part of the workflow. Now, uh, once again, I'm only one person in there. Yay! So I'm the only one in the workflow. So if I keep scrolling down here, I can see there's a task. It was assigned to myself. Please approve the book. Uh, and I can see the workflow history, the step-by-step. -step. Workflow initiated, task created. All right, let's go ahead and complete the task. So in reality, I'd go open up the document, I would review it, yada, 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 looks great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and complete the task. So I'm gonna click on the please approve book. This will open up the task that SharePoint created within the workflow, all right? This workflow task applies to the hello doc, it's, it's requested by me for me. And if I left any comments in there and such, 
Now I'm gonna scroll down and here's my options. I can approve and reject it. I can request changes. I can reassign the task. That sounds like a good idea. I don't wanna do any work. Let's just give it to somebody else. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go ahead and approve it. I'll hit approve. Give it just a moment to do it staying here inside of SharePoint. Working on it, working on it. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be so nice? You could just hold up a sign at work. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Do -do -do -do. Get a little spinning wheel going on in there. We'll give that just a moment to continue going. All right, so it's done updating the task. And if I scroll on down here, I'm back inside the history window, the details of the workflow. I can now see that my little Visio diagram, check, complete. And if I keep scrolling, I can see that the status of the task that was assigned to me has been completed and the outcome was approved. And I can see the history, task completed, workflow completed, approval was completed. And if I hop back into my email, I now got another email as the originator of this workflow, letting me know that the approval has been completed. And one more thing, if I go back to SharePoint, let's go back to the library. So I'm gonna go back to my training docs here. Remember that column that we got when the workflow was generated? It used to say in progress, but now I can see that it's been approved. So we've created the workflow. We've set up somebody as an approver. SharePoint, once a document's been added, automatically sent out an email with a link to the document for review, a task to be completed, and it's keeping track of all of this in this one-stop shop SharePoint within our library. So try this out. You got your workflow. If you haven't created one, create one. But once you got it, go ahead and add a document to your library, look for that column, and complete the process, complete the task. You can even reject it. You could be mean like that, right? <laughs> or approve it, up to you. But go through the process. Get a feel for working with this workflow and how you can automate your experience through approvals.